Hey YouTube, IT Furkan here, and today I'm going to explain how you can connect a better route planner with their in-house OBD link to your car. Previously, like you saw on my other videos, you could connect a better route planner with your car if you had an, another third-party uh, application uh, like even notify. Three weeks ago, a better route planner dropped an update where you can connect your car directly with a better route planner without having a third party in between. That could have been even notified, it could have been Trinity or any other in house made plugin which gets the data from your car and push it to a better route planner. That's the past. The current and the future is directly connecting to the a better route planner app. And now the most important bit about this possibility is there is a huge warning and that is a, a really simple one. Almost all OBD adapters, like I have the VPIC, is not safe to use. Uh, why? If you leave it plugged in into the car, it can still connect to other applications if someone goes by at the right time. And if it does that and have the bad intentions, it can do some nasty stuff with your car. You don't want to do that and that's why you unplug your OBD adapter every every time after you step out of your of the car. But there's a but you don't need to do this only if you have an on and off button or the OBD adapter supports support single uh, connection with the app with the phone. So it does only connect once to one phone. That's how you uh, keep your car so safe as possible. And now we go how we connect an OBD adapter with a better route planner. So here we go. First I am uh, yeah I delete my connection so we can do it for once. As you can see first you need to uh, select a new car, name it, select your car etc. which I did and it's currently called ID4. Now you press on the logo right up, press on your name of your car and this bottom part will show. Now it will show like this, scroll, scroll up and then uh, you see the first bit, it says a better route planner OBD connection. You can also connect it by Trinity, you can connect it by EV Notify, you can connect it by Generic. Uh, Generic is handy if you are uh, connecting connecting it with an in-house app in or a third-party plugin which you made self for your own usage. Uh, but in this video we are using the Link a better a better route planner OBD connection. So first we connect the OBD adapter into your car. In my case it's just right under here. It's plugged. Now we press uh, linked ABRP OBD connection. And it says, yes, a big warning and an OBD dongles and security. Press on it, read it very carefully, and then you understand why I'm saying this. Uh, understood. Now it's looking for the OBD adapter. Well, my VP is right there. It's connected. Status is connected. And the car is initializing. It's success. Um, for the ID4, ID3, etc., the car needs to be enabled, uh, so it needs to be on drive, at least uh, not offline. Now, after we are done, you have connected successfully your car data with a better route planner. Now, if we go back, it's still registering, and after a few seconds, minutes, you will see the new information. This the application is uh, pulling, pulling, pulling from your car. What we see currently is the state of charge. Well, I'm looking to my car. It says, it says 73, so that's correct. Uh, the voltage, the current power, power usage, yeah, it's one. Uh, the, my location, well, it's a 34 meters elevation. Still pretty high, high by the way. My current battery temp, my odometer, why it says that, I'm not sure. Uh, and the last update. Well, I understand the odometer. If you have premium, it can uh, keep track of your history drives. So that's good. 
and that's it now you have fill you are connected live uh, with a better root planner now back to the uh, settings the most important toggle you need to enable is of course automatic settings if you toggle that it the abet root planner use the live data the car generates and uh, sends to a better root planner so your state of charge will be used your reference consumption will be used by the way that's really interesting because it's changing on the fly on the cons on the conditions you are currently driving so if it's uh, getting worse you will uh, will charge a bit earlier or must charge a bit longer uh, and this changes on the fly every let's say 10 kilometers 5 kilometers and another nice bit is if you're charging the car you will see it live you will see that this car is charging for let's say 40 50 100 125 kilowatts and that's interesting and you will see it on your uh, route Currently, I have no reference consumption because I have not driven it yet. I will drift, drive it a bit and I will show you how it will uh, look then. Currently, my starting point is uh, current location and I will just drive to Mesa Mansion. With the information this app currently has, I need to charge... Now, let's see. Uh, it says, yeah, it's a pretty long drive, 8 hours and 27 three times charging and it will be a drive of seven hours I don't believe it because I won't drive 100 km per hour because the car or the application doesn't know my reference consumption I will drive for a bit now uh, and we'll come back what my reference consumption will be and then we will recalculate this route and see that which uh, value is more or which route is more logical because I did route, I did this route for four times already, so I know around how long it will take and how many times I need to charge. Because it's Germany and there's no speed limits, and I will drive under 60. So I will just drive a bit and see what my reference consumption will be, and after that, I will uh, show you the new calculation uh, of the route, and I will show you uh, the charge session speed the application can show. So. See you in a minute. Well, we have driven a bit. Uh, I used some state of charge and the application now knows about my uh, reference consumption currently uh, with this weather and my driving style. Uh, but you won't see the amount of the reference consumption. Come on, scroll up. Yes, right there. Uh, it doesn't show. You can only reset it by pressing here. But if you're looking from the settings it will just say it, let's use life um, let's do the route again last time we did had three charge stops but this time let's look and I hope it will just show me more than three star start stops charge stops and hopefully it will look a bit more how I will look how I will drive and it says five charging stops and looking at the charging stops it's not fully charging so ooh, stopping till the 45 I think I will not do that so I would say let's fewer stops one leg and let's recalculate I think I will do more longer stops charge stops and then uh, reach my destinations and looking at this, this is around what I will do more. Around 60-70% and just go. And still, this is not the consumption you will have if you will drive, drive 140-150. And still looking at the consumption, or at least the amount of charge stops in this uh, planning planner. Uh, I will show you one last bit. And that's uh, when I'm charging. I hope it will show you the amount of charging. Be right back. So here we are and looking at the right top of the application you will see immediately the car is charging. Uh, when you press on it, press on your car, 
you will see, uh, scroll this up, you will see the amount of power the car is currently charging. This is also handy if you're charging at the quick charger, you will see when it drops and you will see over time how the car is charging uh, or at least how the charger is charging the car. It's real life or at least it's pulling every five seconds so real life and you can see it's pretty nice it's pretty great and it's time to wait basically well you see actually the green line right there that's the current uh, percentage and that's racing every five seconds ten seconds at least the polling rate is every five seconds so you will see that the state of charge is racing uh, but because we have uh, such a high state of charge it's not on the lower part so but i will want to show the new functionality of the abet root planner app it's a great addition and uh, with this i will use it it's because it's handy it's great on the road and it's dynamic depending on the road conditions depending on the road drive style uh, it's automatically changing your charge stops which is great so well this was the end and about the Abbott Root Planner and how you can connect the OBD, OBD link from Abbott Root Planner, what you can do with it, how it works, what it shows to you. So, thanks for watching, then I will see you again in my next video. Later! Also, subscribe right there.